Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Morning Heart Devotion. Thank you for joining us. To start things off, let's offer a greeting, a bow to our heavenly parents and true parents. 존진, 참부모님께, 현배, 바로. And to lead us through the family pledge, I'd like to invite up Reverend Milhan Stevens. 가정맹세 1. 천혜어극 주인 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 본향 땅을 찾아 본연의 장조의 상인 지상 천국과 천상 천국을 장건할 것을 맹세하나이다. 2. 천혜어극 주인 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님을 모시어 천주의 대표적 가정이 되며 중심적 가정이 되어 가정에서는 효자, 국회에서는 충신, 세계에서는 성인, 천주에서는 성자의 가정의 도리를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 3. 천혜어극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 4대 심정권과 3대 왕권과 황적권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 4. 천혜어급 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님의 창조의 상인 천주대 가족을 형성하여 자유와 평화와 통일과 행복의 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 5. 천혜어급 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 매일 주체적 천상세계와 대상적 지상세계의 통일을 향해 전진적 발전을 촉진화할 것을 맹세하나이다. 6. 천혜어극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참부모님의 대신 가정으로서 찬운을 움직이는 가정이 되어 하늘의 축복을 주변에 연결시키는 가정을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 7. 천혜어극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 본연의 혈통과 연결된 위하는 생활을 통하여 심정문화 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 8. 천혜어극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 천혜어극 시대를 맞이하여 절대 신앙, 절대 사랑, 절대 법정으로 신인의 일체 이상을 이루어 지상 천국과 천상 천국의 해방권과 석방권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Thank you, uh, Reverend Milhan. Next. To open us up in prayer, I'd like to invite up Rumiko Isaacson. Please join me in prayer. Saranghanin, Hanura Pumani, Chen 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 Chen. We are so grateful to start the day with the Pinong and brothers and sisters. We just had a tremendous victory of launching the uh, uh, Think Tank 2022 uh, last night in America. Uh, I mean, the, uh, uh, in Korea, and we viewed the uh, victorious uh, event uh, to mother rang the gong of the launching um, we are uh, tremendously uh, excited of this uh, launching and uh, uh, we would like to really uh, tune with True Mother's heart to uh, fulfill your long-awaited um, wish, which is the uh, uh, your Establishing your sovereignty on the earth in reality. 
Dan hanem hanem tamamen çünkü çünkü tamamen our hearts are severed from you because of the war and uh, day by day we are restoring artistic relationship with you and true friends thanks to Dr. Young uh, giving us the uh, incredible insight of uh, true friends uh, words uh, which we haven't realized the uh, seriousness and uh, importance um the reality uh of uh heavenly situation your sort of heart uh we uh really offer gratitude from our bottom of the heart to uh uh start new day uh sending on dr young and uh loving brothers and sisters um we uh so to really revive uh want to revive this nation um to the the uh, the world that bring the salvation to the world saranga ni hamare ko bolu chamte chamte we are so grateful for you love jaksara even we don't know your love nah you kept loving us and guiding us to the best we really would like to be fond uh, to that true love your love and true love to love so let's us open our heart to receive your word with uh full fullness of it, our heart and to practice um your words with uh our sincere heart and please guide us throughout this um morning devotion and speak through with the yarn and uh i would like to report uh this humble prayer with brothers and sisters um earnest prayer uh i report all this In my name will be called the king wife and mother of Isaacson Brothers. Aju. Aju Rumiko Isaacson, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 네. Thank you Rumiko san for that wonderful prayer. Now brothers and sisters, let's start today off with gratitude by spending the next few minutes sharing our appreciation points with each other. If you're by yourself, Please take the next few minutes to reflect on your gratitude points for today. We'll see you all in a few.
Welcome back everyone. I hope you had a, a wonderful, heartfelt sort of sharing with brothers and sisters. If you're by yourself, I hope we're able to reflect on your gratitude points. But with that, without further ado, I'd like to invite up Reverend Abayomi. Reverend Abayomi to share with us his gratitude points this morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really want to be grateful for what True Mother is doing. Yesterday, I was also saying happy Mother's Day to True Mother. But yesterday, if you look at what happened, Think Tank is a new development, it's a new concept. And also, I was so much uh, open up when I hear what John the Baptist are saying. Mother didn't do anything yesterday. She only sang and she left and she waved. But most of the messages, the way the John the Baptist are pronouncing it, especially the idea in the Bible, one of the mission of the Messiah is he has to make a land, he has to turn the desert into a farmland. He has to make a way where there is no way. So the peace road that I don't I, I, I don't really I don't really know the name of the man, the businessman that comes. And the way he pronounced the peace road that the, you can literally drive on land from Tokyo, I think it's to, from Tokyo to London. He's talking about the peace road, which has to be created. That is one of the mission of the Messiah. It's right there in the Bible. So if that road is not, if, if nobody's talking about it, only the Messiah can do that. The kind of peace that you are talking about, the message that is coming out right now, is that North and South Korea have to come, have to come together. There is no two way about it. King jong Hoon himself has to bow. I think there is one other message that I also hear that uh, when father met uh, Kim Il sung I think Kim Il sung was told, I think Kim Il sung talked to King jong Hoon that time that the only person he can trust is Ray Raymond. So this message that is coming out is not from the political environment, it's not as if the America is trying to pro, uh, pro, uh, project themselves out to say, okay, this is what we have to do. But the people are coming out. And when the people realize that this is what has to happen, no matter how much the government try to prevent it, it will not happen. The way we just be open. People are getting more understanding about it. People are getting more knowledge about it. And I can, I can bet you, Wow. Within a short period of time, accomplishment. Yeah, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you, Abayomi, your beautiful sharing. You are right. Yesterday we saw the the what the role of the John the Baptist. It is really great. Thank you for your sharing. Welcome. Yes, thank you very much, Reverend Abayomi. Next, I'd like to invite up Justine Chertich. Justine Chertich to share with us. Her gratitude points. Are you there, Justine? Yes. There. Good morning, Dr. Young. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning. Um, yes, yeah, Justine. What I shared, I was with uh, uh, Reverend Milhan, and uh, what I shared with uh, uh, my break room was that um, I was uh, just blown away by what happened last night, and I'm so grateful that I was able to be part of it, at least see, witness. Um, I didn't expect, I didn't have any idea that this event would be as huge, as big as, as I saw it. Um, and what I said is that when I saw that event, there is this, an image of a true mother that came into my mind. I picture in her memoir with her grandmother, a young girl, and uh, I saw it was happening. I just thought of her. I said, how come such a young girl 
humble from such a humble background who didn't even finish high school, how can she bring this to happen? And I just say to myself, this is just only God. This is the embodiment of God. This is a truly the only begotten daughter of God who can do this. This is God who is working through her, absolutely. I was so happy, so grateful that I could be part of this and, and hope that I myself can also be able to make a meaningful contribution in this time. And I'm so grateful to be alive at this moment and, uh, and participate in this providence at this moment. I'm so grateful to our true mother. I'm so grateful to all of those who organized this conference, those who participated. And it's just incredible, it's just amazing. This is a different level of the providence, mm -hmm. a different time. Right, so, right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. I, I completely agree with you what you share. Yes, it is true. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Justine. And with that, brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts, prepare our minds to receive our heavenly inspiration today mm -hmm. through our beloved Dr. Chong Shik Yong. Annyeonghaseyo. Good morning. Good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ni hao ma? Bonjour. Buenos dias. Buongiorno. Guten morgen. Selamat pagi. Dobrae utra. Peace, salom, salam, aleikam. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Sawadikap. Namaste. My dear brothers and sisters, clergy and ambassador for peace, 안녕하십니까? <clears throat> Yesterday, we watched the launch of Think Tank, Think Tank 2022 for the form establishment of a heavenly unified Korea. It was a really, really amazing victory. I especially liked the speeches of American speakers. You know, our pastor Jonathan uh, uh, Farwell, and also our politician uh, Newt King Ritchie, Michael Pence, Michael Pompeo, uh, Mark Esper, and David Beasley, Sarah Gilbert, all speakers, really, really amazing. They are really great John the Baptist. I am deeply grateful to Dr. Jenkins, the UPF staff, and the Washington Times Chairman Tom McDavid, and the UPF International Chairman Dr. Walsh, and all of his staff for their hard work. Really, you done great, great job. You can see yesterday, without America's help, how can we are talking about the, you know, Korea uh, reunification? We cannot think about that. That's why the role of elder son is very, very important. And uh, today is uh, Mother's Day, as you know. I sincerely congratulate all mothers today. And also let's appreciate our Mother Moon our uh, the, uh, the heavenly uh, only begotten daughter, our mother, uh, mother moon. Let's uh, really appreciate our mother moon's effort and jangsang and sacrifice for the sake of the worldwide providence. Uh, yesterday I talked about how to move my parents. Today I'd like to talk about first and foremost, you must earn for God. Based on this topic, I'd like to talk. I'd like to invite Heavenly Honey to read Father's Word. First and foremost, 
you must yearn for God. First and foremost, you must yearn for God. Secondly, you must yearn for true parents. And thirdly, you must yearn for the members. There is no other way. This is the attitude you must have. This is required. Then, what have I done up until now? I am the same as well. In the course of pioneering this way, I have yearned for God and nobody else. In my younger days, I have never yearned for a woman. I have never made any insignificant actions, such as confessing love for a woman just to uphold a man's dignity. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. Father said, first and foremost, you must yearn for God, long for God. Uh, secondly, you must yearn for true parents. And thirdly, you must yearn for the members. There is no other way. You know, all people want to stay where everyone cares about them, yearn for them, and loves them. You know, who loves me most? I want to be there. Who care of me most? I want to be there. Who long for me the most? I want to be there. Who think of me most? I want to be there. Who pray and chant song for me most? I want to be there. This is the nature of true love. Where there is a longing heart, there is a love. Where there is a love, automatically there is a longing heart. Why should, you, should I long for God first and then and through parents? It is because God yearns for and loves me the most. It is because God is an eternal parent who loves me forever, unchangingly, and absolutely. He never leaves me even one second. You know, even though I commit sin, even though I go the wrong direction, his character, you know, always loves me, loves me forever, eternally, unchangingly. Absolutely, this is the nature of our heavenly parents. I think he is the one who long for me the most, more than my own parents, more than all my spouse or lover, more than my own children, more than anybody. Because he is my eternal parents. He is the, my eternal teacher, always guiding me through my conscience. Don't do that, please. Please go this way. Always, you know, continuously guiding me without giving up. Can you find someone like that? Your spouse can be like that. Even though your parents love, love, love you so much, they can be like that. Even though you, you love your children, you, even though your children are filial piety great, but they are, your children can be like that. No one can be like that. You know, when we go to spiritual war, I cannot separate even one second, even one moment from God. He is with me all the time. 
He is searching for me all the time. He has a longing heart for me all the time. That's why Father here talking about. Why do we first and foremost must yearn for God? Because my subject partner who is God is like that. His chaksarang is never, ever changed. Even though I can betray him, I run away from him. You know, sometimes I forget him, but he never, ever forget me. Like a, like a relationship between mind and body. We cannot separate mind and body. Where mind go and body follow. Where there is a mind, there is a body. There is a, where there is a body, there is a mind. We cannot separate from God originally. God, he wants to stay with me every second, every moment, forever together. That's why it is God is eternal, our vertical through parents. Do you agree with me? When I, when I realized that point, oh my God, how God created me and created you in such a way. It is really amazing God. God is such a really extremely good God. And then how many of us know such a great, greatness of God's love. How, how many of us can notice that, you know, such a kind of God's chong song and yearning heart, longing heart, and then his chak song. That's why we are fallen men. We do not notice how much he loves me. That's why Father encourages us that. You, when you notice his love, his longing out for you, we first and foremost must yearn for God. Secondly, you must yearn for true parents. Why? Can you imagine? Uh, without, without, without true parents, how we learn God's sorrowful heart. How can we know the three blessings? For me, eternally grateful to our true parents. Our true parents are really my eternal parents. My really eternal teacher, they are my eternal owner. You know? I am so grateful. If I did not join, if I did not divine, did not know divine principle, I never know God. I never know God is such a sorrowful God and miserable God. I never know what's the purpose of my life. Let's just say, let's just say, Reverend Moon and Mother, Mother Moon is they are not the Messiah. For me, even though okay. God say they are not the Messiah, but for me, they are my Savior. They are my eternal true father, true mother. They are really the, my Messiah because of him. This kind of unworthy person, how much he changed my life. I receive the blessing. I have a beautiful wife. I have a beautiful three children. I have a beautiful three grandchildren. Without father and mother, how can I gain those things? I cannot get it. That's why for me, does not matter. They are the Messiah or they are the only begotten son or, or they are only begotten daughter. This is second matter for me. For me, 
I cannot deny. I am really, really, eternally grateful. You know? What do you think about that? They gave me everything to me. They are absolutely, you know, my Messiah. Hmm? That's why I do not know how can I count, how can I return, you know, to them. No way to return to them. Their unconditional love, their unconditional sacrifice. For example, I compare to my father and mother. I love my father and mother so much. But actually, through father, through mother, bought my suit more. My father and mother never bought for my suit even one time. But when I calculate since I joined until now, I become national leader, missionary, and then, you know, continental director, group chairman. I, what I count already seven or eight times, you know, father give me suit. True parents give me suit. No teacher is like that. No, even my father and mother couldn't do like that. No friends like that. Even in terms of the external way. How much they trust me. Wow. Thank God. Thank our true parents eternally. You know, that's why Father said, first, for most, you must yearn for God. Secondly, you must yearn for true parents. True parents love you that much. And thirdly, you must yearn for the members. There is no other way. Then you need to, secondly, you need to yearn for your family members, parents and spouse and siblings and, and children. You know, my physical parents are the second God. They are the source of my horizontal, eternal love and lineage and life. I came from my own physical father and mother, no matter what, even though they came from fallen background. Anyway, I cannot deny my own blood lineage. Without them, I am not here. Without them, I never meet true parents. That's why my horizontal, eternal hometowns is my father and mother. That's why I am so grateful to my own physical father and mother. Today is a Mother's Day. Let everyone say hello to your father and mother and express love toward them. You know, even one day you need to recognize who your father and mother. Of course, some of them are, have a very bad experience with your father and mother. Anyway, you are here because of them. Hmm? If, you're, if, you, you, if you have the bad memory about your father and mother, you need to recover. You know, you, anyway, you join our movement. Anyway, you become the blessed family. Somehow connection with your father and mother. Only they do not know that about the heavenly parents and true parents. So for, let's say, if even though, uh, if my father... If my father do not do anything to me, of course, he did a lot of things to me. Even though he, let's say, even though he didn't do anything for me. For me, just my father being my father, already enough condition to appreciate. You are just my physical father. I already appreciate, already enough to appreciate you. Mother, you have just become my mother already enough. What, 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 what do I expect more than this? Already enough, father and mother. I am really grateful to my father and mother. I'm grateful to 
my wife, my three children, my three grandchildren, my parents in law, and then came to the America. I have a longing heart for to see each one of American brothers and sisters. And then through the morning devotion, I getting closer and closer to each one of the American brothers and sisters. Some of the member, you know, send you know beautiful gift to and food and fruit and love star, and then sending necktie and clothes and someone buy shoes for me. Oh my God! And then that is not for me. They really want to serve God. They really want to serve to the parents. That's why I need to take it on behalf of God, on behalf of our true parents. That's why let's you need to love truly my own brothers and sisters. Let's appreciate truly our own brothers and sisters, each other. If we create that kind of the unity environment, loving environment, longing environment, our movement becomes church of heart. Already kingdom of heaven. We do not create that kind of kingdom of heaven on the earth, uh, between ourselves. What does it mean, kingdom of heaven? Does it not make any sense? That's why we need to cultivate our heart. Let's appreciate. When we see someone's weak point, take it as my weak point. I need to really help him to become better. So that is a true brothers and sisters heart. That's why Father talking about, you know, and you need to long for members. In the course of the pioneering, pioneering this way, I, true Father, have eaten for God and nobody else. Because God, he noticed that God to Chaksaram. That's why since he know God to Chaksaram, how much he love humankind, how much he love true Father. And then he said he didn't eat for anybody. In these younger days, in his younger days, he has never eaten for a woman. He has never made any insignificant actions such as a confession love for a woman just to, just to uphold a man's dignity. If you truly love God and true parents, you can overcome the longing of temptation of any man and woman. If you truly recognize God how much you love me, if you truly recognize how much Heavenly Father care over me, nobody commits sin. That's why our issue is what? How to recognize His greatest love. Okay, one more slide. The person who weeps holding on to heaven. Have you thought of this? I have thought about it. I want to see the time when the miserable father can show his laughter. And I want to meet the father who, knowing my heart of yearning for him, embraces me while shedding tears. What would that heart be like? If there is a person who lives his life in a more miserable environment, than anyone else who is hurt and treated unfairly, who endures all of this, not for his own sake, but for the sake of the father, for the sake of finding his original homeland, then heaven will cling on to this person and weep bitterly. Thank you. The person who weeps holding on to heaven. I want to see, Father said, I want to see the time when the miserable father can show his laughter. Can you imagine, you know, prodigal son and came back to, you know, his father. How 
much his father so happy. It is the same as God. When we join to unification movement, can you imagine how much Heavenly Father was so happy? How much our ancestor was dancing and happy? And furthermore, when we receive the blessing, wow, our ancestors are weeping and weeping and weeping and weeping and weeping. How happy they are. And then when we accomplish four realms of heart, three great kings, and fulfilling our heavenly tribal messiah, finally rest the body, one nation, one sovereignty, one people, and we are participating in such God's present providence. I think that is the, you know, that is the most happy moment Heavenly Father see his own children like that. My dear brothers and sisters, need to think about how to make happy for God. The purpose of creation, creation is what? Creating happy, happiness. So how can we create happiness for God? We need to participate his providence. We need to unite with our true mother. True mother now is leading the God's providence. When we unite with the mother, and then finally accomplish the God's will, one nation, one city, one, one, one people, which is, uh, you know, God's channel. How much heavenly parents are happy about it? Father said, I want to meet the father who, knowing my heart of yearning for him, embrace me while shedding tears. Wow. Let's meet that come the father. Let's recognize how much Heavenly Father is yearning for me. And then when I recognize this and then, when I recognize this point, and then I cry and cry and bitterly, I really long how to see him, such kind of a Heavenly Parents. And then finally, Father and Son and me together and crying, we plead really, you know, terribly miss each other and crying each other. When can we see this kind of time? Father said, I am the person who lives my life in a more miserable environment than anyone else, who is hurt and treated unfairly, who endures all of this, not for my own sake, but for the sake of Father, for the sake of fine, 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 finding his original home then, you know. That's why, how can we participate that kind of, uh, you know, God's providence? When I receive persecution and then we need to accept God, he's the one who now receiving persecution. So when I receive the persecution and then we need to think about the God's persecution. When I misunderstood, then we need to think how much God misunderstood by the people. Then through this kind of the way, we can have more closure and more of the hardest relationship with the heavenly parents. My suffering is my suffering. God's suffering is God's suffering. If we do not relate to each other, does not make any sense. That's why anything happened to me, you need, you will need to reflect on God's point of view. His pain is my pain. His sorrow is my sorrow. My persecution is his persecution. My difficulty is his difficulty. Through this way, gradually, gradually, we can have, we can build up very hardest relationship between God and myself. If there is a person who goes to such a path, heaven will cling on to this person and weep bitterly. And then I'd like to mention a little bit today's youth ministry. What should you be most careful about when carrying out your mission? Very important point. Again, what should we be most careful about when carrying out, carrying out your mission? First, you need to think and realize that God has set you up for God's work. This is the important point. 
you need to know and realize clearly that God did not set you up to do your work. Why Heavenly Father chose me to be a communicationist? Why Heavenly Father chose me to bless the family and the tribal messiahs? What is the reason? Yeah. You need to understand about that point. You need to think and realize that God has set you up for God's work, not my for own work. If you do your own work, does not relate to God anymore. That's why as a human being, you need to know that. You need to think and realize that God has set, sent me up for God's work. He called me for his will. That's why I need to focus on his will and his wish, his dream. Many people, they go their own way. You know, entire life did not relate to God's work. Secondly, I need to be, I need to be one whom God needs, not the God I need. Therefore, you need to know God's will, circumstances, wishes, and vision very, very well. You know, God needs me. God needs me. That's what we need to know about it. His focal point. You know, to, you know, to, you know, to help his providence. I need to know his will. I need to know his circumstances, his wishes, and his vision well. Therefore, you know, to unite with him, I need to completely deny myself. I absolutely obey to God's will. This point have to be have to be careful. We forget very often this point. And three, do not do anything as you like. What I do should be what God wants to do. Then God works directly. And then when, whenever you focus on something, whenever you like to do something, and then you need to think, this is really God want? God wants to do to me? You need to think, always reflect on yourself. When I focus on my job, this job is really God's wishes. God wants to do through me? always need to check this point. If you check this point, now I am doing something here, this is uh, that God wants to do, then God works directly to me. You can feel that God's direct dominion. You can feel God is with me all the time. Well, then why cannot I feel that this is really a God, you know, God really with me or not? You know, sometimes struggling this and that. That is, a, you already lost the main point. That's why you need to have the focal point. Your focal point is God. God, what does he want? God, what God wants to do? If you focus on what God wants to do, Everybody without exception, you can feel that God is with me. God works directly through me. This is a very important point. That's why UPF mission, YSP mission, whatever you mission, whatever you are doing, you need to reflect on, I am doing really what God wants to do or not. And then if you are focused on what God wants to do, then nobody failure. So grateful, so joyful, so powerful. I am, I am, I am not doing anything alone. You need to realize that whatever I do, something God always beside me. You need to know that. Do not think I am doing alone. No, God is always with me. Entire cool spirit always with me. Then why you have this belief? 
Why you complain? God is your side. Entire good spiritual world, your side. Why you are complaining? Why you have disappointment? Because of no faith. Because you do not believe God is really walking through me. If you don't know this, confusion arises. And you feel limited. Why we are confusing? Why we are struggling? Why we feel limited? Because this matter is not clear. Number four, when you do something, thing, God does everything. I am not doing. Need to have a self-denial. If I think I do, God cannot interfere with my work. I need to empty my, I need to deny completely my own self. And then let God work. If I deny myself, God is the one who doing. If you have that kind of mindset centering on your own self-denial, then God does everything. You can feel God's incredible power. You, whenever you hesitate to do something, centering on, centering on whom? You're thinking. That's why my brothers and sisters, you have to be bold and strong. And whenever you do something, think that God does everything. That's why let God work. I am not working. Just I empty myself and deny myself and God come down. He is the one who does everything. And then I can feel God's presence with me all the time. Why should you be most careful about when carrying out your mission? Please remind this point. This is today's youth ministry, my brothers and sisters. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Young. <laughs> Thank you. My, my key word for today is to yearn for God, yearn for true parents, yearn for family, and also to focus on God's will. Thank you. Yes. Now, brothers and sisters, let us spend the next few minutes sharing our insights and our reflections with each other if you're by yourself. Please spend those minutes reflecting on what you gain out of today's morning devotion. We'll see you all soon.
Welcome back, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful sharing with, with everyone in your group. And to start things off, I'd like to invite up a, a wonderful brother and, and sister, Edmund and Mercy Charlie. <laughs> Could you share with us your reflection for today? <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Hi, best friend. <laughs> hey. Yeah, good morning, best friend. To be honest with you, we, <laughs> we didn't expect this, you know, but, uh, but thank you for calling us. I, I always say, you know, uh, it, it's, it's unfortunate uh, that uh, we are falling human beings. Um, I listen to Dr. Young every day. And uh, I have to be honest with you, I have nothing to say. <laughs> yeah. My mind is falling. I live in a falling world. Uh, the standard of perfection is very high. It's almost impossible uh, to attain. Uh, I can only thank God that uh, True Parents is giving me another chance. Um, that's all what I have to say. It's impossible, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, yeah. I think uh, let's cultivate our heart day by day and listening and listening and listening and listening and then cultivate, cultivate our heart more and more and more and then impossible become more closer and closer can feel that I also can do my portion of responsibility. But you just now saying that that is already a great point. And you, your realization, nobody realizes it, realize that is the problem, but you already realize. You already think that it is impossible because you know that God's greatness, God's love, you know, to reach that level, almost impossible. Mm -hmm. However, God treated you as his beloved son. God treated you no matter what. You need to know about that. That's why when you think about God, no matter what, I need to grow up. I need to develop. I need to understand that. Huh? What do you think? You know, I'm, I'm thinking like that. Okay, let's go to your wife. Oh, <laughs> well. Uh, I was sharing in the group that um, as a little child, I, I came to know God. So wherever I was going, I was always inviting God to come with me. So God became like, like almost a friend. You know, I have I, a dream with God. I call him. I talk to him in my dream. So I'm so grateful to have that relationship starting from very young age. And I feel like with Dr. Yon, with the challenge every day, it made me to realize much deeper relationship with God mm -hmm. and also with true parents and how I have to look at it in a different way. Mm -hmm. So I'm very grateful to have that relationship, you wow. know, okay. like that. Yeah, you are right. Thank you very much. Beautiful couple. Come sign me down. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Charlies. <laughs> Next, I'd like to invite up Nakita. Nakita, if you could share with us your reflection point for today. Hi, this is actually my first time joining a Zoom call. Um, so today, while there, you know, Dr. Yang was talking about um, yearning for God, yearning for true parents, yearning for your family. Um, I really, um, right, currently right now, I'm living in Virginia Beach with my husband, and my family all lives in Canada. So, you know, I was really oh. thinking about my, my mom and, you know, all that she's sacrificed, because, you know, coming, coming to America and marrying my dad, she was disowned from her family. And, you know, even currently at this moment, she still is. Um, 
And, you know, just being able to travel and leave your family and come to a country where you can't speak the language. Yeah, right. And, you know, and then knowing that, and I said, so like, what, what kept, and I asked my mom, like, you know, how, like, how can you just like leave, you know, she's like, that's what, you know, that's what God wanted me to do. And that's what, um, and she just had absolute faith that everything was going to work. And, you know, fast forward, Um, now she has, you know, eight, eight kids, (laughs) eight kids, eight grandkids. And, you know, so uh, I was just like really, um, yeah, really grateful for, for my mom, especially oh, today on Mother's Day. I bet they're watching right now. So happy Mother's Day, mom. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Thank you, Nakita. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Oh, the um, best friend, let's invite shortly our My Hero, Michael Jenkins, and then also the Mark McDavid asked them to share a little bit. We, we don't have much time, I think, shortly. I, let's, uh, my brothers and sisters, let's appreciate the, our UPF, all the staff, and Washington Times, <laughs> Dr. Words, all the staff. Thank you, Dr. Young. Kamsamnida. We're so grateful for you, Dr. Young, and True Mother sending you to America at this time. A truly True Mother inspired all of our team, Tom and Larry and Sonico and Zegri Oliver, Tomiko Duggan and, and EJ and all of them working together as one. And, uh, you know, Yuriko and the whole team like one. And it was really because of mother. Like you said, yearning for God, but it's all about God. God has prepared the way. Mm, yeah, right. the true mother's victory, because we can see the unification of Korea is now in the minds and hearts of all the leaders of the world. And I can't believe what's happening myself. I mean, yeah, right. Tom and I talk every day, and Tom did so much to help make this happen. And But I really see it's all connected to true mother sending you here. Mm-hmm. And uh, our whole family sharing, like uh, Nikita this morning, what a beautiful sharing. Oh, my gosh. And his, her mother came, and now she has eight children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel mother's heart, you know, is so urgent. And uh, we're so really deeply, deeply uh, feeling that feeling in our hearts now to bless the clergy and to also bring the 120 clergy to the 43-day course. Yes, I do. True Mother's coming now, and uh, we're feeling that excitement in our hearts. It, yeah, right. Like, burning excitement. So mm. I can't wait for today. What's next? What's next? <laughs> it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. <laughs> you know, now our true mother. Happy Mother's Day, true mother. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, yeah. Michael Jenkins. Thank you, Kamsamida. Yeah. Mr. Jenkins, yeah. Mr. Jenkins as well. Thank you. Okay, uh, Tom McDavid. Yes, sir. I'm right here, sir. Where are you now? Oh, here. Okay. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, coach. Send me in. <laughs> Larry Moffitt. Um, and Larry Moffitt, all of our team. And uh, I just uh, second everything Dr. Jenkins said, beginning with Happy Mother's Day to True Mother and to uh, uh, to Heavenly Parent behind the mother, and to all of our mothers and all of our wives and daughters and sisters, everybody out there. Um, as, as Dr. Jenkins said, it was an incredible uh, achievement. It made me think throughout, it's a perfect example of the new normal, of the foundation of true parents that goes back from the time Father met Jesus all the way through history. It's bringing all that foundation now to a turning point. And with your leadership, Dr. Yong, and the Heavenly Tribal Messiah work, the June 5th event coming up, the blessing uh, of the families, and, and et cetera, it's all part of this symphony of providential uh, movement. So um, I especially was so moved to, like Michael said, the awareness of the centrality of, the, of Korea. Why does it matter? When you hear Jim Rogers and Newt Gingrich and yeah. Pompeo and Mike Pence 
they get it. They know very well how yeah. that's a linchpin. Yeah. And so amidst all the chaos in the world, all the threats, the China issue, I, I, Father said, and I, I'll finish here, in one of his uh, talks on the Korea Peninsula in Chunsung-gyung, he made one statement, you have to start with one place, one thing, one focus, yeah, right. and then everything changed. And then I realized that's why Korea is so important. Yeah, right. If we solve that, everything changes. Then Jim Rogers paints this amazing masterpiece yeah. right? in like five minutes. He shows everybody that wants to make money. Oh my God, future wealth, future prosperity, mutual prosperity. But he uses our words, mutual prosperity, interdependence, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, brothers and sisters, this is real. These events are not show. These men and women are committed yeah. to making a difference, and we can do that together. And God bless you. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you so much, Thomas and McDavid. Thank, thank you. I really want to thank Tom. He's got the global media moving now. Yeah. Everything that's being done is sent out to all the media worldwide. Yeah. And we want to also thank you for sending Kayleigh Moffat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moffat's now <laughs> working with Tom and I and our team. And they're yeah. both incredible. And yeah. now younger leadership. Really yeah. Any more second gen? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Young, any second gen that want to work with us? Yeah. We can mentor them, <laughs> train them to be professionals. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. our main job. You told yes. us. You told Dr. Jenkins. Yeah. And Walsh and McDevitt, main job from PM. Yeah. Replace yourself. I know, I'm you know, uh, one day I need to explain to mother, mother of the order, in each, uh, you know, our affiliated organization need to have the second generation. So, and then now about uh, uh, Kayleigh sent to the UPF, but I need to send everywhere. I think mother, great concern uh, how raising up the second generation. That's why. I think any second Amen. generation participating the our morning devotion, this is a great hope. I think I'm, I really Amen. appreciate that. Well, yeah. Samira, thank you. Also, Ariella Toren, who did all of our press work with Cheryl. Yeah, Wilson yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Uh, mm. Sunwa, so many wonderful talents. Please yes. come out. We need your help. We plug yes. in. <laughs> we're getting old, <laughs> but we're, we're not tired. <laughs> Love you, Dr. Young. <laughs> Thank you very much. Providence is moving. So with that said, please invite people to be a part of this, to be a part of this movement for the next seven years, because before you know it, it'll all be over. So with that, brothers and sisters, I'd like to also turn your attention to the chat if you're feeling especially inspired, especially after Ting Thang yesterday and the wonderful morning devotion service given today. If you'd like to give, please click the link in the chat, or if you're online, there's a link right here. Just go up at edu.familyfed.org, click donate to support this ministry. And now for our musical offering today, I'd like to invite up a sister, Elizabeth Aihe, to offer her song. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Oh, Elizabeth, you are so beautiful. Thank you. Wow, great. Thank you, Dr. Yang. Um, first, I just want to say uh, thank you for coming to America and uh, revive, mm -hmm. revive us. Uh, I met you first in Thailand. Oh, I see. Thailand in 2018. Uh -huh. I went to Thailand with Wasana Catalan. And oh. then I met my friend, uh, Plani Fink. You know Prani Fink? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know him. I know him very well. That yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. my relative. Yes, yes. So we met you there. You were busy in the meeting. Yeah. We had Dr. Young is here, and we we're so excited. <laughs> and uh, we thought it was Dr. Young. <laughs> <laughs> and then they told you, "Oh, there are two sisters from America. They would like to see you." Mm -hmm. You were so busy, but you took. Uh, your time you came and you saw us mm. so you know now you are here so we are thank you very grateful so today i'd like to um offer a poem i wrote this poem for a true mother yeah my own mother 
in 2007. Yeah, please, send, send, please send it to me also, okay. that content, okay. All right. So today I would like to, you know, wish all the mothers, all the sisters actually, mothers now and future mothers. So this poem is dedicated to our uh, two mother and to you all. Mm -hmm. The title is Mother of Mine. Oh, mother of mine, your beauty in heart is indescribable. You touch so many people's lives, people you know and people you don't know. You embrace everyone in your way. You give to those in need and not in need. Oh, mother of mine, how I wish I could be like you. Your beauty is both inside and outside. Your heart is pure. You see goodness in people. You forgive even those who don't deserve it. Oh, mother of mine, who says God does not exist or they can't see God? As for me, when I see you, I see God. God exists in you, oh mother of mine. Now I know I can be like you because you taught me how to love. Thank you, Kamsaminida. Happy Mother's Day, true mother. Hey, great, yum. Oh, mother of mine. This is really awesome for you. Thank you so much, Kamsa Hamida. Elizabeth, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much for that beautiful poem, Elizabeth. Thank you. And to close up in prayer, I'd like to invite Koha, Koha Shirotori, to please close us in prayer. Okay. Hi. Okay. All right. Please join me in prayer. Oh, dear Heavenly Parent, your parents, good morning. Thank you so much for giving us uh, this wonderful time to be together. What a wonderful way to start off Mother's Day with Dr. Yong's uh, message today. We just finished our uh, the Rally of Hope yesterday and we got to see True Mother. And especially today, thank you so much for True Mother. Thank you so much. You have been waiting for her for 6,000 years, for the only begotten daughter of God, uh, for your daughter. And um, we just pray that we can really inherit that heart of, of um, a mother's love, especially like the poem that Auntie Elizabeth just read for us, that you forgive, a mother forgives people that even seemingly seem unforgivable and that we really can um really embrace everyone especially if people sometimes oppose us or or um maybe hurt us that we can really learn how to love with true mother's love and and not think about the hurt but to to think about how much you love them and and how much you see the potential and, and the love and the, the beauty of each and every person. So we really want to thank all the mothers today and, and uh, all the mothers to be as, as Auntie Elizabeth was saying and, and all the parents <laughs> and, and our true parents. And thank you so much, true mother, always for your strength and your beauty and your grace. And uh, we really hope and pray that we can become filial children for you and really attain um, the dream that you have. And like Dr. Young was saying, that we, we put God's dreams before our dreams, which ultimately are our dreams. So I really appreciate you today, True Mother. And we hope that you have a great, great, great day. So thank you, everyone who's here um, and I hope everyone can do something wonderful for their mothers today. 
This I pray together with everyone here in my name, Koa Shuratori of the Shuratori family, a blessed central family, Aju. Aju, thank you, Koa-chan. Koa-chan, <laughs> arigatai, arigatou gozaimasu. Kamsamida. Dr. Young, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thanks a lot, Koa. And I know it's been acknowledged several times you, throughout this throughout this call, but I'd like to acknowledge one last time to all mothers around the world. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, great. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day.